Look at all this bait fish. God, these things are so big, dude. Look at that. Look how mad that thing is, Max. You ready? You bet. A little stormy up there. What is up, Mad Fish? Welcome back to uh, the, the the land that, that Lawrence built. Larry, the bait guy, invited us out here again. You guys saw this um, last time we came out here. Larry has like 10 ponds where he grows and breeds and stores all different types of species of animals. You're gonna see a couple of them today. Since last year, myself and Dad Master, mostly me, built the pond in the backyard. We, we put a largemouth bass in the pond last year, and at the end of the year, we decided we're gonna turn them loose because we had no way to keep it open all year round. It got real, real cold in Nebraska this year, so we figured we didn't want them to die. So we put them actually in a buddy's private pond, but now that leaves us with an empty pond. Hey, it's warm outside. We got spring and warm weather and thunderstorms and stuff out here. So I was like, hey, Max, we should uh, put some fish in it. And so we were talking about it. Last time we were out here, Larry was telling us this pond is absolutely freaking loaded and overrun with very, very invasive bullheads. They're, they got in here, they're, they're multiplying, and now nothing else can really grow here. So the goal for today is we're gonna catch as many of these bullheads as possible, take them home, put them in our pond. We'll show you our pond a little bit later if you guys haven't seen that yet. A lot of new MFers since that time, but there's different size pools there, so we can put different size bullheads in different size areas of the pond. We'll show you when we get back to our house, but we got a couple different means of catching and netting and trapping the bullheads that live in this pond. Let's get to it. One method, obviously, we're gonna fish for these bullheads and catch as many as possible. How many do you think we can keep in our About pond? Maybe at least three. Maybe at least three, cool. Um, I was thinking like 20. Oh. Oh, perfect, great. So to put the old bullheads for the transportation process, we got our really nice cooler here that I usually put my drinks in, so glad that's gonna smell like fish here shortly. Of course, got a little aerator device we'll put in there. Keep those bullheads nice and lively. They're hardy as a sun bitch, though. I don't see them dying or anything. And then, one way I, we can catch a lot of the really, really small ones, there's tons of just little baby ones in here. Brought the old cast net, so we'll be taking them like that. Check your local regulations. If you guys want to do anything like this, using a cast net is illegal in the large majority of reservoirs in our area, but this is a private little lake that Larry built. Also, brought these little traps. Um, these are actually like crawdad traps, minnow traps. We caught some bullheads in them last time too. So we're gonna use these guys. Um, once we catch some fish, maybe some crappie or some shiners or something in the pond here, we're gonna chop them up, put them in here for bait. And then I got a little special feature to show you guys a little bit later too. Actually, oh, Max, Larry told me on the phone he wants us to check his trap and see if there's anything in it. Let's go over there and check it real quick. All right, here's Larry's trap. Last time we were here, bullheads and crawdads in here. Let's see if we got anything. Little bullhead guys and one big ass crawdad. Look how mad that thing is, Max. So fun fact, I was talking to Max on the way over here. I was like, Max, have you ever tried crawfish before? He's never had freaking crawdads. So I talked to Larry real quick. He's like, next time you guys come, set some traps out, catch some crawdads, you can take them home. So if this video gets to 5,000 likes, go hit the thumbs up right now. We are going to trap crawdads. Now I've eaten a lot of crawdads in my life, a lot of crawfish as the, the, the southerners call them, but uh, I've never trapped them myself out of a pond or something. I've always freaking wanted to. But um, yeah, if this gets 5,000 likes, we're gonna set those traps and leave them out here for a couple days and come back and we're gonna take the crawfish that we catch, big ones like this guy right here, take them home, have a little crawfish boil, try them out for you guys. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll take one of these crawdads before we do that while he's still alive and I'll clamp him onto one of my nipples. 10,000 thumbs up and you guys get to see me in some pain. This trap right here uh, is way, way cooler than the ones that we have. I think it's gonna work a lot better than ours, Mac. What do you think? Larry must have just checked it recently because last time we were here, that thing had like 20 crawfish in it. He said it only bit out for like a day or two. So again, hit the thumbs up. You get to see us do a little crawfish boil and a lot of you hit the thumbs up. You get to see me in some pain. I got a feeling it was probably coronavirus related, but the gas station didn't have any night crawlers. I think they've probably been sold out for a long time and just never got stocked back up. So. We're using these guys today, the old gulp crawl action. And of course we saw some crawlers on the ground over there. So we can probably dig in the ground and get our base that way too. Max, you thought you were an athlete. Last time you were here, you are talking about how athletic you were. <laughs> I don't think you're jumping that far. In those boots. Let's see it. Whoa! Little baby hooks is the method today. Micro fishing 
for as many some bitch bullheads as we can rip out of this little lake. You guys need to give us suggestions too. What do you want to see go down at these lakes? Last time, you guys told us you wanted to see these pets. Take them home, put them in your pond. So that's actually why we're here, thanks to your suggestion. This time, we need more. I kind of want to do a catch and cook. I've been eating bullheads for so freaking long. So if you guys want to see a bullhead catch and cook, let us know. A lot of people said flathead bait too. That's tough because you can't transport these legally as bait. So that's a problem. Obviously don't want to break the law and transport these bullheads that clearly can overpopulate to use for bait. I'm starting with the crawler too, but I got a feeling I might be switching over quickly to like a crappie jig or something. We need to catch some, some crappies and some bullheads. Bullheads for pets, crappies to leave here for bait. You got one on, bud. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, a green sunfish. What do you know? I like its mouth colors. You like its mouth colors? Those things are freaking cool. All right, Dad Master getting us on the board with the old green sunfish, dude. You bet. Not the target species, Max, but that was awesome. There's one. Oh, little peckerhead guy. Set it. Get him. Got it. Get him in, Max. That a babe. Another green sunfish. Dab Master is uh, not catching the right species, but ah, some beer. That did not feel good. Wow, he swallowed it real deep. Got him. Oh, it was a crappie. Dang it. All right, for you bass fishing fanatics, really quick, I talked to you guys about this in the video the other day, but hosting another online tournament. I don't know when this video is going out, but probably really soon to the tournament date, which is going to be this upcoming Wednesday, the 29th. A little bit different format this time, like I told you guys about. Don't forget to get in there, and I had a freaking fish on. I just lost him right there, Max. Anyways, $35 entry, so pretty cheap entry fee. Um, we, we've had close to 100 people or over 100 people every single time, so it ends up being a lot of money. All bass fishing, um, you, your 10 biggest bass over 15 inches. You don't gotta have a boat. You don't have to have a kayak, nothing. You can fish out of whatever you want. You could even go ice fishing if you got ice in your part of the country. But I'll link that right down below. Just, it's fun. Been, been having an awesome time doing these little quarantine opens. You guys have been giving, giving some great feedback too. I know today we're not really doing a, a tournament or bass fishing serious video, but it's good to reach out to you guys. I know a lot of you guys watch a lot of different types of content. Do you think this video is gonna get to 10,000 thumbs up so I have to pinch my nipple with a crawdad? I would like to see that, so please. Do it. Do it. Dad Master, you keep doing the hook and line method. I'm going to throw the cast net. So far, we just got bluegills and craps. We need some bottom dwelling. Little bullhead, guys. Man, it was crazy last time when I told you guys I haven't thrown a cast net for a long time, so I'm probably going to do a really terrible job. And then there was so many people on YouTube in the comment section that were experts. Man, it's crazy how much people know in the comment section on YouTube. Anyway, let's see if I can do shitty again and get made fun of. Let's see, any little bullhead guys? No, I'm not through. Watch out. Come on, be in here, bullheads. Or else I'm just gonna move to a different spot and catch them in a different spot. Hey, we got our first little culprit guy. Look at this little baby guy, Max. We better get some water in our dude. We got ourselves a little bullhead friend. These are actually more so i know they're actually more poisonous than the bigger ones they shoot out more venom is what i read online that might be completely false i don't know you guys i'm That's sure will be experts about that too so tell me that is scorpions too i know all right let's get some water in our dude i got a lot of throws left in me max all right get some water going in this dude for our one little baby bullhead guy That's some green looking water these things are so hardy they should be really good in our pond i want to watch these dudes grow into monsters. There's actually big bullheads in here though, so there it is. we'll get the aerator going on this guy so he uh, lives. And um, you yeah, know, let's catch some more of his friends. I was hoping to get one right here because I think there's a bunch right in this little area. Wonder what's over here. This might be better fishing too. Water's clean. Probably be able to see what's down there a little bit. Oh yeah, look at all those bait fish. Let's see what they are. Just far enough. What are these guys? These are cool. These are like big minnows. Yeah. We should put those in there with the bullheads too so they have some food right out the gate. These freaking minnows are huge. Are vegetarian? That'll be awesome food for our little pet fish. There was one, where'd he go? There he is. God, these things are so big, dude, look at that. 
That should get something. Oh yeah. Look at all these guys, Max. Open that up. Hold her open. Dude, these are the fattest minnows I've ever seen. I don't know what those are. I'm sure someone in the comments will actually know them. Should be good. What did we get? Bullhead friends! Bull. Ow! God dang. What? This is gonna be a painful experience. What is? Freaking grabbing these things. They're poking me. Sweet. Yeah. It's a little guys in the net, dude. I don't know if the big ones like get out the way or what. All I know is these guys are stabby. There's a better one. What do we get? A crappie. <laughs> That's not the target species. Sorry, Max. Oh, I also got a bullhead though. God dang, struggling our dicks off out here. Luckily, Larry had some more little bullhead guys in his traps, so we're gonna put those guys in there. We got a bunch of new pets, don't we? A lot of new pets. Okay, guys, we ended up with a stupid amount of fish to put in our little pond. I think I netted like 40 bullheads, so we're gonna have to spread those out a little bit. Um, honestly, most of them are like minnow size, so I'm freaking happy with that. Also, we got a bunch of minnows, so once these bullheads start growing, they're gonna be attacking those minnows, eating those guys, they'll be perfect. But we gotta show a lot of you old subscribers and MFers what the pond's looking like these days, all the new MFers. You gotta see what the little setup looks like in the backyard, in the middle of my garden. We'll catch you guys at home. Well, there you have it. The most white trash waterfall pond situation you ever seen. Why did grandma think we needed a damn frog sculpture? So I did a terrible job last year keeping you guys up on the growth of the garden, the pond, everything else. I kind of just built it, put a fish or two in it, and then I was like, ah, I just didn't make another video. I didn't feel like there was a reason to make a whole video about anything else I did. For you new MFers, this is how uh, how she lays out. So we got the little waterfall situation. I know it's a little janky. We still don't have enough rocks. We're going to try to take care of that the next couple weeks. So this looks a little more natural. For those of you wondering, too, this is my backyard. Um, this is my garden. So I, I plant vegetables all the way around here last year. It freaking exploded and it, it was kind of cool. It made a giant canopy over the creek and the pond, which was better for the fish and the pond and everything. It wasn't the best visual, but we'll see what we can do about what we plant this year. I'm gonna use the old tiller to loosen the soil up a little bit. We had a nice surprise over here too. Look, we got some green onions came up over the winter. I already ate some of those the other day. Them is gonna be delicious. So as you guys can see, water comes in right there, constantly flows, little waterfall feature right here. We got a smaller pool that's about six inches deep right here and then that pours over here. Um, I, I do still got some cleanup to do. Uh, we just did this the other day, but this one's a little bit deeper. It's about a foot deep and then that pours into that guy down there, which I believe is like a 350 or 500 gallon pond. Decent size. So basically we, we got some different size bullheads. Most of them are really, really small. I think they'll do extremely well just in these little tiny pools, especially right now. I just felt the water. It's freaking, it's frigid. It's not warm water. We're gonna start off by doing that. Um, this is the next day. We decided to let the water kind of circulate for a day. We put it in three days ago. Just wanted to be safe. In that period of time, unfortunately, a lot of these bigger minnow guys, uh, they bit the dust, but that's okay because, I mean, I don't think those bullheads would even be able to eat that. But as you can see, all the bullheads are alive still. Maybe you can't see that actually because the water's really shitty and green, but we're gonna take some of these bullheads, um, some of the bigger bullheads I think we're gonna put in this pond here. When I stocked some minnows and some smaller fish up in the pools last year though, they really quickly just worked their way down to this bigger pool right here. So I think this will be a cool feeding opportunity. Anyways, even though it is the next day, Max is still rocking the same shirt because, well, he can be a slob. <laughs> he doesn't have school anymore. Let's get some of these minnows out. We'll, we'll mix these guys in. These guys are gonna be uh, fertilizer along with some of the Asian carp we caught a couple weeks ago. Pretty nasty, but compost pile that we had down here was badass. You guys should drop a comment though. Let us know what you wanna see uh, planted in this garden. Last year made a bunch of hot sauce and salsa. Um, tomatoes, always good to have those. Green onions, all sorts of different stuff. We, we did a lot of fun stuff, but let us know what you guys wanna see as far as content with that. I think let's put a couple of these in each pool. I definitely do want to make this like a, uh, we'll, we'll probably put bigger fish in there next time too. So let us know what you want to see as far as the bigger fish. Like I said, we did have largemouth. It was like a, I don't know, 15 inch largemouth in there. He lived all last summer. Then we put him in a buddy's pond. Um, but these little pools, I want to see how these bullheads do in the little ponds. This is actually a, a bigger, one of the better variety of guys. Now he's living in the grass. Get this guy thrown in here. There you go, bud. Little baby bullhead, guys. Okay. And you gotta be super careful with them, like I told you guys, because they are poisonous little shitheads. 
and we'll spine you real good. We'll put one of these guys in here. There's a bunch of them in here. Little tiny guy. He lives in there now. That's not him. Another little guy. All right, there's another one of the better sized guys. He's not huge, but four or five inches. He'll do well in there. Live your best life, buddies. Right, Max, now go clean this cooler out for me. Thank you. So I think all in all, we ended up with like 12 to 15 little bullhead guys. We probably didn't want many more than that. Although, if we go back to Larry's, we're gonna get a whole bunch more than that. Don't forget, we need you guys to go drop a thumbs up. 5,000, we're doing the crawfish catch and cook. 10,000, I'm pinching them on my nipple. I talked to Becky about that last night. She was all about that. She said we need to see one nipple needs to have the crawdad claw pinched on it and one needs to be in the breast pump that she's been wearing. She wants to see which one hurts more. So freaking hit the thumbs up, guys, if you want to see that. But thanks so much for, for watching this one. Let us know what type of content you want to see in our little pond situation here. Hopefully next time you see it, we're feeding some of these bullheads and uh, we also have some vegetables planted in the garden. That's supposed to be happening in the next week or so, but for myself, for the Dab Master, we'll catch you guys very soon.